Sometimes we have the simplest questions, the simplest problems with the simplest of solutions. And this is one of those cases. So I had a person ask me, how do you remove the wind muff from the Sony ZV-1? To me, that was very obvious because I think you installed it or I installed it uh, when I bought it, um, but I've never removed it myself. So I can see how somebody may have forgotten how they did it or somebody else did it for them or they bought it that way and they don't know how to remove it. So here's how you do it. So this is the ZV-1 and this is the wind muff up here. And here, over here, is the cold shoe or hot shoe. Cold shoe in this case because this is not using any electronics. So what you do is you press over here with your nail. First you gotta raise the hair up a little bit and then you use your nail to pull this backwards and it slides out like this. So this is a cold shoe mount used for the wind muff. And basically this is the microphone. Here is where it mounts. And this is what is being covered by the muff itself. So this is how you install it. This is how you take it out. Simple, effective, great little camera, great little microphone on this camera. I wish the A7S III had something like that so that I didn't have to use the microphone on top. But I'll be running some tests and comparisons with this one and that one as soon as I actually get the microphone for the A7S III because right now I'm just recording with the onboard mics and I know that's not optimal. I know this is not the best sound, but I was pretty impressed with them. I was not too disappointed. I mean, it's usable in a pinch if your microphone breaks, but I'm still waiting for my delivery of the microphone. So, anywho, this has been Aris Garantakis. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Live Long and Prosper. What is this, Star Trek? Yep. Um, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content. I'll see you guys next time. Till next time, be kind.